Hello everyone, it's Leo and it's time to talk about episode 40 from Wonderful Precure, a very fun, cute, heartwarming episode. Loved seeing Iroha as a dog. By the way, I think Iroha's dog design is the best animal design of this season. Except for Nikosama's design, but you know, Nikosama's design is on a different level because she's like a mythical creature. And also Mayu as a cat, they were super adorable. This episode was really cute. And while it was mostly chill, I feel like there was a little purpose on this episode, which I'm going to talk about during the video. Let's go. Girl, the incident itself was very funny, but I like how the writing ties things off. First, uh, Satoru had the idea of them going to the Toboy Shrine because Kara something, I forgot her name, oh my god. Uh, one of their classmates told Satoru that people have created that specific shrine for the dead wolves in the past. And when Satoru mentions this, uh, Nikosama mentions that there are bad humans, but there are also good humans. Because, you know, the humans were the ones who killed the wolves, but there were other humans who thought of the wolves and uh, considered them enough to create a shrine to honor their existence. So uh, it's nice to balance things out because it's very hard to balance things out in this situation. So I feel like Wonderful is trying in every moment they can. But Satoru also thought of that shrine because of other things that happened in the series. One of them is that moment that Gao awoke for the first time and created Toremen Zakuro or awoke Toremen Zakuro as well. And there were posts on social media of wolves coming from the mountain. And also Komugi listened to Gao howling in an earlier episode as well. And she thought that the howl came from the mountain. So, you know, those things made Satoru realize that he might have been there. He was not there. And, um, we have Komugi and Nico trying to find, and they could sense his presence, but he was not there any longer. Yuki was able to enter there, and there was nothing. Oh, what did you guys think of the winter costumes? Girl, I think they're so ugly. There's not one that I like. The one thing I do love is Mayu's, uh, the color of Mayu's, dress i love that color but the dress itself i i hate all the four of them satoru's is okay i feel like but girl the four of them i i'm sorry they're hideous but um nico uses a lot of her power and she cannot control it and because of her uncontrolled power they are turned into animals. Iroha and Mayu are turned into animals. And we have lots of cute and very funny scenes. Nikosama's reaction to their transformation is priceless. And Nikosama does not care. She's just having a good time. You know, she's just having fun. She's She, she was feeling sad before when they were talking about Gao, when they were talking about the wolves. We had some sad faces on Nico, but apart from that, girl, the rest of the episode, she was just having a great time. And then she said that for her power to come back so that they could be turned into humans again, they would have to gather lots of Nico Nico's smiles. Nico smiles power up Nico's power. We, we've seen that before. Animal Town powers up Nico because people and animals are happy in Animal Town, and now they're just gonna have some fun since they're animals. And I just love Komugi's personality in that moment when she says, well, you're gonna turn into humans at one point or another. We know that it's gonna happen, so let's just enjoy our moment and have some fun. It really felt like the writers were coming out of Komugi's mouth at that moment. And I loved Yuki's little shade towards her. I love Yuki's shades. Girl, she is the best to throw shade in this season for sure. And, you know, they just started having fun. Iroha and Komugi 
running together. I love how Iroha was feeling being a dog and how fun she was having. And then we have Mayu and Yuki as well. Yuki having a lot of fun with cat Mayu. Mayu was melting and uh, she also played with uh, Mayu's belly just like Mayu does with her. And Mayu gave her a cat punch paw in the face. That was so adorable. They played with a cat toy as well. Girl, there is so much personality in this show. This season, it just exudes personality every single moment. I love it. It's so consistent when it comes to each character's personalities and their traits. It, it's very recognizable. <clears throat> I think it's priceless. Honestly, it's priceless. And then Satoru sees Iroha with other dogs. He, he starts feeling jealous. He gets her. They get to a more secluded place. Only the two of them. They blush. Iroha's tail is wagging and Komugi tells her that when it's wagging like that, it's because she is happy. That's how dogs are. <clears throat> Not always, but you know, for a show like Precure, that is enough information that we need. And Komugi, uh, you know, just witness, uh, she witnesses a specific situation between them. That was very funny. I loved their reactions in this scenario. And then we go to Gao. I love that Gao scene so much. The soundtrack was incredible. And at that moment, Gao is silent, completely silent. And I love one specific detail. He is sitting down on top of a stone and we see birds coming at him. The animals love Gao. They feel safe around him and he attracts animals. I just love that little detail they put in this episode. And obviously, Zakuro is there around him. She hugs him and she's there uh, being all clingy towards him, but he does not say a word. He does not speak anything. He is really restoring his powers and, you know, he's just quiet. And Torame is bored and so he wants to go play and he leaves the place and he creates a Gao Gaon with a Garu Garu egg and the girls notice. It's very funny that now also Iroha and Mayu notice that there is a Gao Gaon because they are animals and so they also have the ability that Yuki and Komugi have and then they go but when they go both Iroha and Mayu are still animals and Nico is just uh, in front of them and she says well it's your lucky day my powers are back so I can restore you N you know Nico was just playing around as well she was just having fun seeing them as animals honestly she was girl come on and then they come back and Komugi is a little disappointed because she wanted to play with Iroha as a dog a little more. It was so cute. But they transform. And uh, the action scene in this episode is basically a session of Red Light, Green Light, which is a kid's play. And it's very funny that uh, in different places of the world, we have this and it's it has a different name depending on the culture. But children play this all over and look it was extremely boring to watch but i can totally see kids loving that scene and while i do think it was dreadful to me i can see kids loving it and that's all that matters at the end of the day and I can see like kids coming to school the next day and saying well did you see that scene in Precure let's play that that play let, let's let's play that because you know that's part of their universe they probably feel the need of playing that after they saw it in precure so i can really understand um the the power of that scene that's not the word i wanted but i can understand the the logic behind a scene like that and even though i didn't like it i feel like it is a good scene, nonetheless, because of the demographic of this show and who this show is primarily for. So yeah, but what I feel like is what I feel like was really important in that moment and for the episode as a whole was Torame. Torame in this episode, he was bored with uh, Zakuro and Gao, and he just wanted to play. 
And when it came to the action of this episode, he was playing together with the Cures and the Gaugaon. He was playing with them. And he was having fun. After they purified the Gaugaon, he even tells them that. He was laughing. He was enjoying himself. And he goes away. And the Cures mention among themselves that he only wants to have a good time. And after this, I started noticing that excluding Gao, when we're talking about Torame and Zakuro, they are both looking for affection. Zakuro desperately is looking for Gao's affection every single time. And when it comes to Torame, he is really wanting to find some good moments for him, but with others. Not by himself. He's always looking for fun with other people or other animals. And this makes me believe that those wolves, they do not have the same grudge as Gao did. I mean, they do, but not in the same intensity as Gao. Maybe Gao was the, the main reason or like the first wolf to befriend a human in the past. I don't know. Uh, I... I mean, when I said the main reason, I don't, I'm not blaming the wolves. I'm saying that he was probably the main wolf from the pack that had a relationship with a human, a friendship with a human and wanted to communicate with that human. So that's the, re that's why I'm mentioning the reason. Uh, but Torime and Zakuro, it feels like they're still looking for affection. They're still looking for feelings. And Gao doesn't seem to be. His only feeling is his wanting of revenge. That's all he wants to do. And so at the end of the episode, we have a very lovely scene of himself, Satoru, turning into a rabbit. Girl, I was so pissed that we did not have Daifuku in this. Why do they care so little about Daifuku? Girl, I was a little angry, but I was having a lot of fun with the scene itself as well. I, you know, the way Satoru's personality is constructed is really good. And, you know, the way he was running and he was spilling facts about uh, rabbits in his mind while he was running. Simply incredible. I love it. I love that moment as well. And, you know, very sweet, heartwarming episode that I feel like was able to make a point, a stance about Torime and by consequence, Zakuro as well, because it made me notice something about her, uh, something about both of them. And next week, Yuki is gonna shine with a beautiful green costume. Green Cure next season, 2025 Precure is going to have a Green Cure. Girl, I'm joking. And we're going to have the uh, Kiririn uh, Kitsune again. That's going to be everything. I'm going to love it. Anyways, babies, this was my view on episode 40 from Wonderful Precure. Please share yours in the comments. Let's keep talking about it. Anyways, this is it for now. I want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinnamon channel, if you're a member here on YouTube, if you're a member on Patreon, if you support me on Throne, thank you very, very, very much for your support. And if you've watched, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.